is Dan Lyons. I'm leading the product team at Hacker Noon. I have uh, wrote my first line of code over 20 years ago, and since then I have worked for High Growth Startup. I've also worked for a startup that's crashed and burned, and then I founded and sold the startup. But in all of that time, I've actually never given a dev talk, so this is my first talk. I'll try not to screw it up. All right, the current state of Hacker Noon, we have 8 million monthly page views. We have an incredibly active community of 7,000 active contributors. And our 1.0 product was built on Medium, which is one of the best blogging platforms around. But in 2.0, it's time to start growing up as a company. And it's time for us to build our own blogging platform from the ground up. And that means we're going to design this specifically for people who write code. In order to do that, we need to solve some of the biggest problems for our most important users, the publisher and the reader. Publishers need to know what readers think about their content. And readers just need a never-ending stream of relevant, high-quality content. We can solve both of these problems with a feedback loop. As content gets published, we will provide a mechanism for readers to give high-quality feedback, and that feedback, in turn, should inspire more content. So that begs the question, how can readers meaningfully react to content? Today, there are two primary ways, comments and likes. So comments are great for publishers because they get great feedback, but they're too much work for the casual reader. Likes are low quality. They're easy for readers to react, but they're low quality, and they really end up just being a vanity metric for publishers. So Medium has started iterating on the like by introducing a new clapping interaction. This allows readers to express the degree of their appreciation for content, which is a pretty good thing. And it just feels good to clap in response to content. You can try it after the talk. <laughs> but clapping, it doesn't solve the problem. So publishers need a way to understand what readers actually like and dislike about their content. And there happens to be a pretty good solution that we all use on a daily basis. Slack. They've created a way for people to react to individual bits of content using a broad array of emotion. So we try to take that concept and throw it into a Hacker Noon story, and it turns out it doesn't work too well. <laughs> if you're trying to read a story and you have to take an emotional pit stop every five to ten seconds, it's not a very good reading experience. So we tried to move the icons to the right margin. It makes the reading experience much better, but it's still pretty distracting. So from there, we went a radical new approach. We decided we need to hide the uh, emojis by default and only display the emojis when the user hovers over a paragraph. And once they hover over the right margin, we allow them to react. And in this version, we have a Git-like interface where when you hover over the paragraph, you can see a distribution of the positive to negative reactions. We eventually decided that this is not a good approach because reactions are very contextual. Say you're writing a story about shit coins and somebody responds with a, a poop emoji. That could be a very positive reaction. <laughs> so we took a step back and we decided to design our own emojis. These look a lot like the emojis that you use on a daily basis, only they're pixelated and they have a Hacker Noon look and feel. We'll soon be adding more emojis to this, but we're also going to be building a tool to allow contributors to design and submit their own emojis. So we took our shiny new emojis and we kept iterating. And in this version, once you hover over a paragraph in the story, you can see the top three reactions in the sidebar. The problem with this interaction is as you're reading and as you scroll up and down, it's kind of distracting because you have icons randomly appearing and disappearing on the screen. So in this version, we made it so the emojis only appear when you hover over the margin. And we reintroduced the gray blocks as a visual cue for the reader. More gray blocks indicate that there are more reactions reactions and fewer gray blocks indicate fewer reactions. In our next iteration, we made the green blocks plutonium green to stand out a little bit more. And if you click on the three dots, you get more emojis to choose from. And at this point, the reading experience is pretty unobtrusive, and you can still react to content with a broad array of emotions with a few clicks. But we've still got a lot to do. So we're going to keep iterating with help from the community. Then we're going to ship it and learn from actual usage. And from there, we're going to start over. Thanks.